Hello there, welcome to PvP. Today we're doing Dan Plays Just Cause 2 multiplayer. Something I've been super looking forward to for the last couple of months. Um, now this is out with a huge amount of players uh, available for the whole map from the, the Just Cause 2 game. So we'll just go straight onto this one here. There's 900 out of a thousand players on this one. So I've it's only been out a couple of days and I have been playing it quite a lot. And the, the main thing to uh, to sort of take into consideration is when there's this many people on one server it is mental in a good way but my god it's pretty mental so we're just going to get spawned into some random place here uh, so it looks like we're sort of well, kind of near the mountain region but no not near any major cities anyway but there are a few people down here so we're going to free fall in um, now you get spawned in with a random primary and random uh, random secondary weapon so we've got a uh, sawn off shotgun for the secondary and we've got a full shotgun for the, uh, the primary which is pretty good because we can do them and it looks like already this shit kicking off down here oh there's a guy here and he's teleported brilliant so night crawlers on this one. oh here he is fucking what yeah, I, I, obviously the thing to try and take into consideration is with this many people on one specific map, the, the tendency for lag is uh, a little bit apparent. Um, but it looks like John Wayne here has got the same idea. Uh, whoa, fucking Nora. Yeah, there is kind of a weird, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but it's certainly a cool little glitch where when you're driving around, I'm using the, the, the USB version of the Xbox gamepad, I think it's um, sort of forward slash on the keyboard, but if you press the left bumper on this, it just initiates like mental turbo mode, and we just all of a sudden just hit like 300 kilometers an hour, and you go fucking flying across the map like this. Now it works on boats and everything as well, which is kind of weird, but it's pretty fun like to just go flying across the map, uh, certainly a hell of a lot quicker than driving about. So we can just charge up here and then we just do a, it's like the world's biggest battle roll ever. Oh shit, the bed to get out of there, good shot. Ah, perfect. Uh, right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a, a bit of a look around. And uh, I mean, it is literally the um, the map from the, the game. But there are no NPCs, that's the only thing that is missing from this. There's random vehicle spawns all over the place and helicopter pads and airplanes and stuff. Um, as you can see, there's probably a helicopter that's firing those rockets down there somewhere. Um, but we can uh, be able to speed boost. Oh, fucking hell! Whoa, Jesus. I held that on a little bit too long. And I'm pretty sure I'm going out to sea. So we better jump out of there. Right. Now, there is something to do with, like, it's teams or something like that, but I'm not entirely sure what's that happening here, so. But the grapple's still in, obviously, the, the super grapple, which is kind of what makes Just Cause just fucking really cool. Um, and you can destroy all the uh, the Panawan um, military kind of installations, so all the, you know, petrol stations, all that sort of stuff to cause chaos, which unlocks new missions and stuff. Um, so let's try and see if we can actually kill someone. There's a dude that's here. Oh, it's the same guy. And he's taking these shots to the head pretty fucking well. Oh, Christ. Whoa, fuck. Okay, he's spawning in the best helicopter I've ever seen. So we'll grapple the fuck onto that. Oh, shit. Bell end. Well, brilliant. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how to uh, do the whole spawning thing, but there is a teleport option, so you can, if you know, if you want to go to the big radar dish that's kind of built into the mountains, that's a really popular one, actually, because there's loads of people doing sort of, like, weird races and stuff around there. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually do that now. So we just go, uh, TP dish, and we'll just teleport directly over that. There's the, uh, the, uh, Mile High Club over there. Uh, that's probably a pretty popular place as well, but here, there are people just sort of, well, fuck, there's a green plane for a start. But we'll uh, see if we can get down. And uh, <laughs> this is pretty mental. Uh, right, so we've got a pistol this time, and we've got a machine gun. So a heavy machine gun, that's pretty cool. And there. <laughs> right, so that guy just went flying out there. And there's. Uh, yeah, so he's just trying to me. And there's someone in a helicopter who's also trying to blow me away. Now the. Uh, this, I imagine, with you know, with your mates and stuff, when you're actually trying to do something or do some crazy sort of stunts and things, would be dead fun. But when it's just loads and loads of people on, the, the lag is. Oh. People do just sort of tend to teleport around, but 
if your uh, internet connection's okay, and there's not, you know, a couple of hundred people, I'd suggest at most, but it's, oh, it's it can be really, really interesting as to what people get up to. Um, plus, the uh, the vehicles and stuff can take a lot more damage than they can. Um, Helicopters and planes are obviously really popular choices. But, oof, fuck. This is getting a bit mad. Though. But what we'll do is we'll see if we can hijack that guy's helicopter. There's some really cool, sort of just causey kind of stunts. But no, I think I'm too far away. It's far too high. Um, right, yes, six hours, Christ. So it says there in the top left, it, as just cause does, it comes up with your random stats, you know, how many people you've killed, how many kilometres you've driven, all that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, six hours so far up to this. But it's it's weird, because th there's not really an objective to complete. I mean, I can see it, as much of a, as a, a novelty it is, as it is at the moment, I can see it being, not boring to say, but there's certainly a, a lack of things to actually do. So there are people just sort of milling about, sort of trying to kill each other and stuff, and doing all these kind of crazy stunts and things. But, you know, there's like, I mean, GTA was big, but, you know, it's sort of, obviously there's not that many people in this. Um, as there are in this, sorry. But, you know, there's an objective. Oh, fuck. Right, that was someone else in the helicopter, brilliant. Um, one thing I will say is as well, just try and ignore the stupid chat thing that's in the left hand corner. This is 900 people of gamers on the internet with the ability to type. Obviously they're just going to sit around talking bullshit all day. So try not to worry about that or if you're offended by it, I don't really care. Take it up with them, I'm not typing. I, I really can't stand the sort of people who get into all that and just sort of, you know, start being <laughs> like proper aggressive and stuff. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, but like, here's the Panay statues. And you can do the same thing as uh, on the game on that. So maybe if there's a uh, few fewer people around here. Oh shit, I've got to change weapon now. Right? Oh, a sniper rifle. Now these, basically sort of like one-shot kills, the snipers. So uh, definitely better for uh, taking people out. Well, that's, I mean, there's, there's trying to account for things like, you know, bullet drop and wind resistance and that sort of stuff on normal games. With this, you've got to try and take the lag, lag into consideration, which is pretty fucking tricky. But we'll we'll give them the benefit of the doubt when just saying they're outmaneuvering me, rather than me just being just shit as hell and just not being able to hit them. Come on, get back here. Oh, well, I'm getting some damage, so I might actually be getting some shots up on him. Come on. Where the fuck? What is... <laughs> How on earth was he doing that? Right, so he just ran through the air. Brilliant. Ugh. Like I say, not particularly good. But with with this much map to sort of explore around, and you know, with the potential of as many of you mates as have got Steam that can get this. I mean, they they did tie the release in really really well to a Steam sale as well. So they had like eight percent off the Just Cause sort of franchise really, so they had Just Cause 1 and 2 and all the DLC for Just Cause 2 as well as the uh, the multiplayer mod for free, so I mean if you've already bought Just Cause 2 from Steam then you, 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 you're you in anyway because you know, you've know got uh, free access to it but for me, because I had like to say um, Just Cause 2 on the Xbox um, to get Just Cause 1, Just Cause 2, all the DLC for Just Cause 2 and then multiplayer for less than a fiver on the Steam sale is pretty fucking awesome, really. So, another little bonus for Steam there. So, well done for the time for that. So, they're not trying to be, you know, super money grabbing because obviously a lot of people have been interested in this. A lot of people have been expecting it. Um, so, let's uh, jump in this. And so, this is a sports car. So, this with the boost on will just be insanely fast. There we go. <laughs> So, right, there's a few people sort of knocking about down here, so let's see if we can take a few of them out with some super speed. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Right, I managed to bail out of that at the fuck at the last second, but got caught in the explosion. Now, I haven't seen a variety of sort of weapons available to, to pick up on, on the floor, which is. Um, that could just be me not looking properly, but. 
Fucking how is what is this guy doing? Look at the state of this car. Right, he's got a green tag on him, so we can't do anything. That guy, however, the one that's up on that roof. Let's jump up to him. He should be an enemy. Fucking lag, my god. Right, and now he's oh for god's sake, forget it. So yeah, to, to sort of actually trying to he's just spawned a car in. I'll uh but fucking hell. Yeah, so maybe to actually do anything, you know, if you've got any plans in just cause that you actually want to do, you know, if you want to climb the highest mountain or you know, blow up all the, the Panayan buildings and stuff, then find an empty server, that'll be the best thing to do. If you actually just want to run around and shoot people, um fucking hell. Without any success, is probably this is probably the best sort of thing to go on. But if you actually want to do it and uh, you know, actually kill people it might be better to uh, go on with a few, a few less people in it, but it's it's pretty interesting though. Because I mean, if you can get something like this, this popular for free, you can't really complain about things like lag. But it should also be, you know, something that people should be able to see and go, do you know what? We could do that with our game. Because I'm I'm sure there's dozens and dozens of games where they're single player only. But you think, Christ, if there was a multiplayer, like an open free world multiplayer, like Skyrim or something like that, it would be incredible. And to to think that this is how much you know, attention and interest they've got, and they haven't, you know, they really haven't made any money off it, you know, other than the, the sales of any people that are interested in getting this for the multiplayer, so therefore they'll go and buy Just Cause 2. It, it does sort of give you the uh, the impression that a lot of other companies could make something similar, it, you know, it could be really, really cool. So, we've got us a chopper now, let's see if we can get a few more kills. We'll blow this up, so we definitely can do that. But, just as in the game, people can grapple onto you and try to steal your chopper. Chopper? What the fuck am I on about? Copter, are you? But, um, without having any rockets on it, it's uh, a pretty useless shot. And that's on the assumption, of course, that then I'm just going to lag the hell out. But, that guy's in the car, so let's see if we can blow him up or something. No, no, he's just going to lag behind me. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Right, so if you do actually manage to kill someone on this, it is uh, more of a fluke than anything. I have got quite a few kills on it, but certainly nowhere near the amount that you'd expect to get. Um, so, pressing down the, uh, the old left bumper, so we're getting a bit of a speed boost on the, uh, the helicopter, but nothing too bad. I mean, it's sort of the mental car flips and things. I mean, you, the boats do it as well, so if you hit some land when you're in the boat, you just go flying through the air. And uh, there are some pretty cool videos that I've seen already of people doing crazy stuff. Um, but you know, if you just want the, the chaos points and all that sort of stuff, you can get to these kind of military bases and blow everything up as normal. But um, without the sort of the NPC military response, it, it kind of makes it look, it's not really a challenge, you know, it's just sort of going around and blowing stuff up. Like on GTA 5, obviously the police and, you know, the sort of military can be really, really tricky and, it, you know, it's sort of. It makes it a lot more interesting, a lot challenge, a lot more challenging. But with this, it's apart from all the other people on the map, who I don't know, some of them won't even bother with you. I mean, you still get the, the same sort of warning sounds, like you know that the military are after you, but no action's actually taken on it. So if, the, if there was the NPC kind of military aspect of this as well, and that I believe would be absolutely incredible. Like, because it would just be people just squaring up against hundreds and hundreds of NPCs. Oh, it'd be amazing. But with what they've done, and the fact that it's free, and they've got this many people on there, and I mean, I'm not lagging out, obviously, I can see other people lagging out, but my own personal experience is obviously pretty damn good. For them to do all this for free is. Oh, I'm loving it. So, I mean, like I say, I've already got about six hours in. I'm probably going to put a hell of a lot more in than that as well, because. I might try some of the, uh, the the kind of the servers with a fewer people in, just to see if there's any difference with you know the lag and you know sort of whether you can actually have some kind of a team deathmatch kind of thing going on. Um, but as for the, the sheer quantity of people that are in this, it's it's a real testament as to what you know people with just with well talent and just love for the franchise really can do with it. So big congratulations to them; they've really pulled it off. Um, so, actually, one thing I've been meaning to test that I'm just going to jump down this hole here. If I can do this, I am the greatest. No, died. 
brilliant. Well, that just goes to show exactly how fucking terrible I am. But in a really interesting game, though. So it is free. If you've already got Just Cause 2, get this just for the shits and gigs. Because you are just running about with 900 people, all attempting to blow the fuck out of each other. Or you can get on with it with your mates and just, just generally tear it up and have a bit of a laugh. Um, and the fact that it's so cheap as well, because obviously it's, it's a f not old, but it's still a fairly dated game now, is, uh, it, yeah, I mean, you could really sort of get everyone with a, a decent PC on this. And you can just tear it round and just do some really cool, crazy stuff on it. So it's definitely worth it, especially as it's free. And with the Steam sale, I think it's finished now, but... That, um, okay, I'm just holding down left bumper now. Pretty sure I'm flying. Actually just flying right now. So, I, actually, can I just make it all the way to that island there? Apparently I'm doing about 700 kilometers an hour. Which is pretty impressive for a dune buggy in the air. Holy Christ, I might actually be able to land this. <laughs> wow, that was incredible. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Just Cause 2. I've been Dan, thanks very much for joining. I'm hoping to do uh, a DayZ mod, as has been... Uh, a lot of hype about that. The, there are a lot of server issues with it because it is a really early access alpha and there's only a tiny amount that you can actually do within it but it is a lot of fun so again that's what I'm going to be looking at as well so thank you for joining me we'll see you soon